What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another breaking news story and we have a brand new WTA world number one doubles player, Arena Sabalenka. She is the new number one in the world in the doubles. She's currently ranked number eight in the singles. So she's now at the top of the doubles and she's in the top 10 of the singles. Let's go look at the rankings. So having a look at the top five for the doubles, we have Sabalenka up the top and you can see there number two, current number 17 on the singles rankings, Elise Mertens, her former double partner. Then in the number three spot, we have Zhu Wei Shea. Strikova is in the fourth spot and Mladenovic is the number five in the doubles rankings at the moment. So Sabalenka, after winning the Australian Open with Mertens, jumps to the top of the list as the world number one in doubles. It's the first time she's ever been there. And don't forget, last year, at the very end of last year, she jumped into the top 10 in the singles for the first time, and now she's reached another milestone, this time in the doubles. Unfortunately, Sabalenka and Mertens have split or put their pairing on hold, so I don't know if they're going to win any more titles in the future together. And I don't even know if Sabalenka's going to play with another partner, because her and Mertens are a great combination. And the reason behind that is because Sabalenka wants to focus on her singles. Now that that she's reached the top of the doubles. She's won a couple of majors in the doubles. She wants to focus on singles, trying to replicate that exact same feat, but this time on her own in the singles, like all the top 10 players want to do. So Sabalenka, number one in the doubles. Merton's number two. Let me know down below, is it a smart move for Sabalenka to focus more on singles now rather than going with the doubles where she's had a lot of success? So the Australian Open champion is number one in the doubles now, but Sabalenka, she wants a grand slam in the singles.